Inquisitor Lavellon, who we met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalot. Welcome to my party. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. I'm already taken, Your Grace. Your lover has nothing to fear. This is business, not pleasure. Have the Dalish gained a sudden passion for politics? What do you know about our civil war? My advisors keep me informed. One would hope the Inquisition's leaders had a proper understanding of politics. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. I'm here to make sure it doesn't. Perhaps the Maker truly has sent you to us. The world is filled with doubt and uncertainty. Fear rules more hearts than any Empire. I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I have seen a few signs to that effect. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspar before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. I'd happily do more dancing. Just not with Corypheus. I promise not to invite him to your next ball. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. You have an idea, Leliana. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlais. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thalys. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. 
I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. How should I support Briala? I assume she can't be Empress. She can't. She can, however, be the power behind the throne, with Gaspard. True. She could never control Selene, not with their history. So Selene dies and Gaspard takes the throne. Briala would need a way to control him, some kind of leverage. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing. That he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. Are you all right? I'm... I... I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace. Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian. It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Chiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. It takes great courage to come to the Royal Wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Would you be willing to testify to that, if I asked? Absolutely. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Most Orlesians would say that's Selene's scandal, not Briala's. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. You painted Orlesian assholes! When I get out of this, I'll butcher you like the pigs you are! Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my bait. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment if you were looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. You're Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. 
Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. At this point, I'd think disappointment was an old friend. You poor deluded thing. You don't know half of what Samson and I have planned. And now I suppose you never will. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill him and bring me his marked hand. It will make a fine gift for the master. Ah, trust those tits. What was all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those bastard demons coming, right? Good eye. Those were definitely demons. Maker, bless me. Demons? How could there be demons in the fucking Winter Palace? I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me the fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here. Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. You honestly believe you were captured, tied up, and thrown into a death trap because of a bill? When you put it like that, it seems a bit odd. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlais. Stinky, fancy cheesemongers. I don't know if I'm more shocked that Gaspard hired Ferelden mercenaries or that you actually took the job. You and me both. I've had enough of Orlesians to last a lifetime. Gaspard's methods are thuggish. You saved my life. I owe you. And Gaspard still hasn't paid me. You want me to talk to the Empress or the court or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Maker, you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? The Duchess will assassinate Selene personally. Wait for her to strike, then grab her. As you command. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. My friends, we have lost much. We have each seen a child, a lover, a friend consigned to the flames. The darkness has closed in around us. But even now, there is light. We must be that light. We must lead our people safely through these troubled times. We must be their guiding star. Tonight, the war dividing us must end. My friends. We are here to witness a historic moment. A great change is coming for all of us. Isn't that right, Gaspard?
Don't be coy. It went just as we planned. I did this for you, brother. Me? Have you gone mad? No, not Gaspar. You did this for Corypheus. What a terrible guest you are, interrupting your host. <laughs> Poor Corypheus! Kill them! I should thank you. You played your part marvelously. Both Celine and Gaspard destroyed in a single blow. The Council of Heralds will devour each other, and while they do, Corypheus will come. The demons of Adamant were not his only army. The Empire will fall, and Thedas with it. What a pity you won't live to see any of it. You don't think I came this far without an escape plan? Your death will be the crowning jewel of my victory tonight. So good of you to attend my soiree. Wasting your time trying to stir the nobility against me. We are at war. I hardly have to stir them at all. Your sister murdered Celine. Everyone saw it. You're a traitor by association. What do you hope to gain, Rabbit? You can't claim Celine's empty throne for yourself. Maybe not. But I can keep it from you. You're done meddling, Briala. Gaspard will be the Emperor. You think you can keep him in power? Really? Will you sit by his throne and hold his hand to fend off the accusations of the court? I found a servant who can attest that you and the Empress were intimate at the time she purged Halam Shiral's alienage. If that were to get out... I don't see your allies standing with you for long. I see. The important thing right now is for the Empire to have stability. You think you did this for the good of Orlil? This is a grab for power. A child could see that. The game is over, Rabbit. You played well, but you lost. Your death today will bring years of security to the Empire. Come, my friend. You and I should address the court. We all owe you our lives, Inquisitor. I will remember that. You've been a friend. I am not a man who forgets his friends. Stand with me. We should speak to the people together. <laughs> And so, the crown falls to me. This is not the victory I hoped for. I wanted this moment filled with song, not with sorrow. But I have always been a soldier. As every soldier knows, the difference between defeat and victory is how it is named. An enemy has struck the Empire in its very heart. As your Emperor, 
I promise justice. Orle will not allow such atrocities. Corruption, deceit, murder to go unchallenged. We will face this Corypheus. He will know the wrath of the lion. We will fight shoulder to shoulder with the Inquisition. Together, we will send our enemy to the Maker's judgment. With your help, we will end this crisis and restore peace to Thedas. We have much work ahead, but that is for another day. Tonight, be at ease, rest, and prepare yourselves for the battle ahead. Here, at last, I find our absent hero, hidden away despite the efforts of all Orle to find you. Gaspar drunkenly toasts in your honor, Deliverer from Darkness, and other titles complimentary and awkwardly phrased. That's what I do. Fall out of the sky, make bad decisions, and somehow everyone still follows me. So they do. It seems I am also to join that esteemed crowd. By Imperial Decree, I have been named Liaison to the Inquisition. Gaspar wishes to offer any and all aid to the one who supported his ascent to the throne. So, here I am. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Gaspar never liked my attendance at court. He wishes me as far from here as possible. Mayhap he feels the Inquisition a convenient repository for unwanted apostates. I cannot say. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. There was an ancient dowager looking for you. Said she had 12 daughters. I told her you'd left already. You can thank me later or now. But you look lost in thought. Something on your mind? I'm just worn out. Tonight has been... very long. <laughs> you won. You saved the day, literally. The day is saved. You should be celebrating. Enjoy yourself while you can. What you need is a distraction. I have just the thing. Let's dance. I was hoping you'd ask. Thank goodness one of us has a little initiative. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations, maker's mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lord Inquisitor. Please, may I have a word with you? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of Divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Thedas. 
they could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Liliana and Cassandra are candidates to become the Divine. How is that possible? Not yet. But they could be. We need them to be. There is precedent. Other times when clerics remain deadlocked, a successor was chosen from outside the clergy. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. These aren't just any two people. They're key members of the Inquisition. For the sake of Thedas, we must ask you to make this sacrifice. This will have to be settled later. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. 